is Di here from Di's Den and this week I thought we would make a nice Christmas card. This one I thought looked like a bit like a Christmas present with the, the ribbon across the middle which is actually gold foil paper and these beautiful poinsettias on here. So I'm going to show you how to make this card exactly the same as this. So sparkly, sparkly and beautifully Christmassy. So let's get started. This is a slim, what they call a slim line card, and this is a European Australian sizing. So for American sizing, you will have to work out what the size of your uh, DL envelopes are, which is what we call them here in Australia, DL. So I think you can hear somebody mowing their lawn outside. What a lovely day to do it on as we're into the spring now. So anyway, that's the card for today, and I will show you what we will need. Okay, let's pop that out of the way. First of all, we're going to need, let me get my piece of paper, or oh, my bits and bits, a card blank, and this measures eight and a quarter by eight inches. We're going to need some foil, gold foil. Well, this is double-sided foil, so I don't know where I got it from, but it still is beautiful. And this measures eight inches by three and three quarter inches. And then we're going to use the brightly gleaming designer series paper. And this is Mossy Meadow, by the way. And this measures three and a half by seven and three quarters. Our insert measures three and three quarters by eight. Then we need a bit of a scrap, not very much. We need a piece of that measures oh, about one and a half inches by about three inches for our um, white tag which is whoops you can't see that let me see if I can move you back a little bit there's a bit better you can see a bit better now um, which measure um, which is for this tag here and then a bit of gold that measures scrap piece of gold that measures about two inches by four inches for the other tag now they're not stamping up items um, but I love them so I'm going to use that I'm using those for my tags um, I've got two pieces of gold foil here that are half an a quarter of an inch sorry and one measures seven and three quarters by half an inch and the other one measures three and a half by half an inch now I've already done my um, poinsettia and two of my leaves these are the baby's tears so we'll do them together so let's move them out of the way but I use this beautiful paper here this is um, from stamping up and it's a specialty paper and it's called let me see what it's called it's called plush poinsettia specialty paper and it is, it's got like a velvety feel to the front of it. Isn't this gorgeous? So, and you get a sheet, two sheets with the poinsettias and two sheets with the um, holly leaves and the baby's tears. And then there's a couple of other sheets in there. Let's have a look, see if I can open this up and see what else is in here. So you can see. Oh, these are just so gorgeous, so, so gorgeous. So you've got the um, poinsettia and the leaves. Uh, and then you have two that is like a, a beautiful kind of, um, I don't know what you call that. But it's so gorgeous, I just love it. So you've got these six beautiful sheets in this sheet pack. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And the dies that I cut it out with, because I didn't have to fussy cut them, let's move them out of the way, are from the poinsettia petals. So the poinsettia petals die, this one here, cuts these flowers out. And the large, no, the smaller, sorry, of the um, holly leaves cuts out the holly and the baby tear comes out of it. So, and we're going to use a few stamps out of this set. This is the only set we're using today. So that is what we're using. We're not going to be using these berries or any of the double stamping or anything like that. So what we're going to do is I will show you how I colour these. I'm only going to colour one 
because I've done all the others because you don't need to see me colouring in everything okay so let's move these out of the way so I can pop some things on the side here and I will start by showing you how I coloured these so I have one leaf here and a piece of scrap which I've done all my colouring on earlier so what to do with my leaf there it is so for my poinsettia I use my blenders my blend pens and I use um, the real red in the dark for my leaves I use the mossy meadow in the dark so I've got my mossy meadow here on the piece of thing I think you can just see me doing that and I just took the lid off the top and I just coloured it over the whole lot because it's like vellum with this beautiful flock on the top and it's absolutely gorgeous and if you do this you get the light and the dark from the colouring and it is just so beautiful and see that's just that's the leaf that's done and as I say all the rest are done so we will leave them just there to play with when we get that far okay excuse my fingers I have been really in the poo with all this stuff Okay, so we're going to start by with our piece of seven, uh, eight and a quarter by eight, and on the eight inch side, which is the smallest side, you're going to score this at the four inch mark, and that's all the scoring we're going to do today. How gorgeous is that? It's even a quick card. So we're going to fold and burnish this card like so. So we will actually pop that on the side. We will actually glue our two. Now, if you are a bit of a frugal um, crafter, you can actually cut the centre out of this piece to reuse it for something else. Or, like if you're going to do this, you could have pulled that out of there beforehand. But this is something that I've had hanging around, so I'm just going to use it up. And we're going to glue our designer paper onto the top of this that that lawn mower is not too loud outside and then I'm going to glue my two pieces of small pieces of um, gold onto this as well so one piece down the middle and you can eyeball it or you can actually measure it if you wish doesn't really matter which and then the other piece going the other way oops and again it doesn't matter how far down you put it, it just depends on what you want, how you far down you want your thing, so your cross on your card. So then we can glue that onto the front of the card. And that's the front of the card just about done. to use your specialty paper like that you in the the stamp set here you have these beautiful stamps to do this poinsettia or you can just cut them out in red in the three layers so it's up to you and you've got all the dies there to do it either either or way so and that is the way I wanted to do it today I wanted to use these beautiful flowers now, to stick these on, you actually really need, because this is quite strange on the back, we are going to put these on top of each other with a dimension wherever I did with them. Oh, I had them here just a minute ago. Here they are. We're going to pop a dimension into the middle of that one and maybe 
one either side of it on three sides and give it plenty to stick to and I'm going to offset them so I think it looks oops get off of there and then I'm going to put some double sided tape on the back to stick this down Oh goodness, I don't know what that was. So we will then pop this onto the middle of our bow, nice and neatly like so. And we will, I actually glued these two together with a, I did glue them together with a, some um, double sided tape. But there we go, and they've just come apart, so we'll pop a bit more onto that. That was on the flop side, so we do need to be careful work with these because probably if, if you're finding you don't have the glue doesn't like to stick to it you can actually um, use a uh, oh glue dot okay I'm going to put you on hold for a minute I'll be back sorry about that I had somebody at the front door so that was what that beeping was. So we're going to put another piece on the back of the other one. And I'm going to pop this one down here. Whoops. Okay, and then I'm going to just put a bit of glue onto the back of my baby's tears. So and pop them in just under here. Now I've got somebody coming to the front door again. This time they're noisy people. So. Okay, oh, dokie. Just pop a bit more glue up the top here. Oh, come on. And a little bit of glue here. And we're just about finished the front of that card. So we're going to actually stamp our saying for the front of this tag, which says, Happy Holidays this time. Uh, this time I'm doing a Happy Holidays. So let's stamp that one in there. And then we're going to stick this onto the gold piece. And once I've done that, I'm going to then pop a couple of dimensions on the back of this one. And pop this onto the front of the card. So it looks like a present with a beautiful book and set here on it. And I'm going to just pop this underneath there so that the poinsettia just comes over the top here. Can you see that? I see. Now I have these beautiful gems. They're called beaded pearls. And you get a pack with, let me see, does it tell me how many is in there? No, it doesn't tell me how many is in there. Oh yes, 18. 18 of these beautiful gems. They are from Stamping Up. They are actually gorgeous. So I've actually put some red liner tape on the back of mine. So I can get off the back of my finger and I'm going to pop that into the middle of my flower and that is the outside of my card done how gorgeous does that look absolutely wonderful so let's do the inside so we have our piece which has got pink mark on one side and I'm going to put these words in here that say may magic and wonder bloom this holiday so I'm going to stick glue that glue that 
I'm going to stamp that into the middle of my card. Oh, that's just looking, I love this font, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then oh, I forgot to bring in my Mossy Meadow, so I'm going to, I will be back again. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I'm having a really good day here, aren't I? So I've got some um, Mossy Meadow ink and I'm just going to stamp these beautiful little leaves down like baby tears I think that's called down the bottom down here like so so that they look out they're all together in green so that's my green baby's tears and that's all I'm not going to color in the little flowers or anything like that so let's turn this over and put some glue on the back of it the lid the pin I should say ouch not into my finger but into the top of the glue bottle and turn this around and pop this inside and that is our card how gorgeous does that look now I can't use my um, my bone folder because I dropped it on the floor and I can't see it. So that's this week's card and I hope you've enjoyed it. It is a Christmas card and I know it's early. It is only halfway through September but you know what? It's not going to be long before it's here. So I hope you've enjoyed today's card and I would love to see your version of this card. So if you are on my Facebook group and you would like to post make this card and post a copy of your version I would love to see it if you're not on my Facebook group and you'd like to join because you can download the tutorial for this card which is absolutely free please do and that is Dyes Den for stamping crafting and tutorials and that's a closed group you will have to join but there's no joining fee and everything is free and if you've enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up Subscribe so you don't miss any other videos or to go back over all the others. That's fantastic. And we will see you again next week. Bye for now.